unfortunately it oh oh don't sneak away on me hmm. trying to keep an eye on them in the in my preview camera here okay so this is the hey flying squirrel check out my new my new friend <laughs> it's a little beardy like your old one Howdy, howdy, howdy. Uh, as long as he doesn't poop on me live, uh, we'll be all good. You gonna poop on me? Please don't poop on me. Alright. Two dogs, one cat, two fish, one turtle. Holy crap. Yeah, this is Iro. Did we already go up here last time? I feel like we did, and I feel like I kicked some ass. Yeah, we did, and I did. It's awesome. He is really nice. He's still getting used to everything. He's very, very tiny. They usually get active. Yeah, I've noticed that. Like, <laughs> when he gets in his cave, cave, cage. What's going on, huh? Um. Yeah, and Snip's got a lizard too, but I wasn't gonna I wasn't gonna say anything unless she wanted me to. Um, but she got a little a little gecko of her own. A crested gecko. I promise I know where I'm going in game now, so we're actually headed somewhere. Uh, but yeah, when he uh needs to use the bathroom, he starts clawing at the glass. He's like, Oh my god, get the camera, it's coming. <laughs> it's awful. <laughs> yeah, I'll make sure to hold mine in, Chip. <laughs> you don't have to worry about that. Hey, buddy. How you doing, huh? Yeah. Oh, well, this ought to be fun. Yeah, Snips, if you want to, you can bring down, um, Ollie. I guess he has to stay in his, his terrarium right now, but, or his little, his container, his home. But if you want to show it off, we can. So we could go try to do the big blobby guy. Or we could go try to do, what was the one over here? I remember this one. I remember the, the ball and chain guy out to the right. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember this guy. Alright. See if I remember how to play. Hopefully I do. Here we go. I forgot that he went that fast. Oh god. Okay. First death of the night. <laughs> He's really jumpy. I'm letting him settle down for a couple days. Yeah. <laughs> I wish I had, I had more pets. I'd, I'd love to have... I mean, I really want a dog. Not that I don't like you, buddy. I like having you. Yes, I do. Um, He's super nice and just hangs out with me whenever. Which is awesome. I forgot to look at this guy's name. Rolt Kayan. Forged creation of something else. Which I'm assuming was what the, uh... Oh, that fire absolutely hurts me and it stays around for a long time. Um, yeah, but our apartment doesn't allow for dogs or cats. But, we can have caged things. And technically you live in a cage. I mean, it's a terrarium, but whatever. I was going to introduce him on Hats Off next time, but, uh, I just, Whoa. oh god, this is rough, um, yeah, I just want, I don't know, I figured bringing him out tonight would be a good way to introduce him, Yahtzee Croshaw, the zero, from Zero Punctuation, did a, a let's play of this last week, he hasn't seen any of the bosses, bosses before, so died a lot. <laughs> That's awesome. I 
I don't know. I actually didn't know that Yahtzee. Oh my gosh. Maybe this isn't the game for me tonight. <laughs> I'm still feeling kind of crummy. I'm just not with it. And I'm also trying to keep track of the, the little guy on my shoulder. Make sure Iroh doesn't run away. He might be sleeping for all I know. I have no idea. Woof. Alright. Get ready for that. Oh, oh, what we got? What are you doing, huh? Trying to climb? Yeah, Iroh's gonna be like a foot long. Probably tops. Tops of the foot. Okay. So this is rough. If you guys need a terrarium stuff, we have a ton of extra. Oh wow. There you go, Snips. What's going on, buddy? Yeah, Fu, um, like Snips said, the crested geckos don't really need a heat lamp. They live in more tropical temperatures, which stay fairly cooler. Um, but this guy, he, his um, basking spot stays around uh, 95 degrees. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, I did it. Uh, you can just uh, use like a spritzer bottle of water, just spray it in there. Like make it, make sure it's on the mist setting, so you're not just soaking everything, but you just mist it. And then you, uh, there's like little temperature gauges and humidity gauges you can buy. I'm actually thinking about buying an extra temperature gauge to keep in his basking spot to make sure that it's staying around the right temp. So I'm not burning them up. Oops. You can also buy um, foggers. I'm thinking about buying one for him. But I mean, I guess this humidity doesn't humidity doesn't have to stay as high, but it might benefit um, the the gecko, the crusty. Ah, I was hoping he'd start spinning. That's why I just stood there. Actually, mom, that tank is 
tall enough and long enough, but not, like, deep enough, you know? Like, front to back. So, yeah, it's too narrow. Yeah, it's a good way to put it. So, we... I bought a new one, but Petco is having a sale on reptiles and all reptiles accessories. So, um, a 40-gallon tank, which is usually like 130 bucks, was only 40 And uh, Snips helped me out, and she bought the... The terrarium for me, or the vivarium as they call it for your dudes. Um, and ah, oh, man, I thought he had one more. Dang it. Yeah, I'll still use that uh, fish tank either for filming or actual fish someday. <laughs> Maybe I don't know. Fish don't interest me all that much, but we could possibly do something with it. I mean, we could do it if I want. If I had like a smaller lizard that I wanted, but I'd like something bigger. And uh, I know that he isn't very big right now, but he's gonna get big. Son of a bitch! When does he start spinning? When does he start spinning? I don't know about you, but the Titan Slayer reminds me of Martyr Ligarius for some reason. Oh yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah. I totally get that chip. When I was younger, I wanted to buy a house with a full-size garage and fill it with heat lamps and dirt and just have, like, ten box turtles. That's awesome. When I was a kid, I wanted to have a uh, armadillo zoo. Petting zoo. <laughs> Specifically because there was a building uh, down where I lived. Like, the roof looked like the back of an armadillo. And I was just like, well, it just makes sense that there's an armadillo petting zoo in there, so... I wanted to do that, but alas, my dreams were never fulfilled. At least not yet. Man, come on, dude. You should have to get really far away for him to start spinning. You have to get behind him to start spinning? I bet that's it. Alright, here we go. So I'm going to switch directions here. That's what it is. Alright, cool. What's going on, buddy? The sound scare ya? I thought you move. Um... Ten gallon rectangular. It's twelve inches tall by twenty. Oh, they tore that old barn down. Oh. <laughs> we need to team up too. That's awesome. Ah, I missed it. I missed it. Or flex. How you doing? Thanks for coming back, man. I knew that you were a first-timer last week. Thank you so much for joining us again. <laughs> Make our own ecosystem. Yeah. Chip, I am pumped for Mad Max. I am so excited about Mad Max. I think it looks awesome. That was a risky one. That was a risky one. Yeah, definitely an IMAX. I think uh, Snips and I are going to see Avengers in IMAX this weekend, too. It'll be a lot of fun. There it is. With that kill, it is, um, it's bedtime for Iroh, so I'm going to take Iroh back to his, his heating lamp so he can get some rest. Usually I shut it off around 7.30, so I will be right back.
Hey, my mic was off. Sorry. Sorry, Mama Nook. I'm tired. I'm sick. Back off. Yeah, Chip. Fu and I went to, to film school together. We will definitely talk movies with you, man. Absolutely. Toxic. Who's this random person? <laughs> oh, you should be able to hear me now. Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Oh, I forgot Chip's a little behind because of things. Alright. Let's do this. Ah, ha. That's good. It's a good way to start. It's good. It's a good to start. It's good. I'm not falling asleep, I promise. I'm absolutely falling asleep. Whew. I still have to edit. Yay. I don't know. Whiskey's wanting to play Killing Floor 2. <sighs> Like I said earlier, I, I really, I planned on having Long Dark ready to go, um, I screwed up, I screwed up, I screwed up again, I screwed up. I plan on having the new episode of Long Dark up tomorrow, but, uh, just... With me not feeling so hot. Ah! I haven't been able to finish it up yet. There we go. Alright. Five Nights at Freddy's movie. Yeah, I don't know, man. I could see it going really well, and I could see it going really terribly. So, we'll see about that. I, I was actually, for a while, thinking about making a little fan film of it, but I just... Time. Time! I have so many things that I want to do. I really have all kinds of video ideas. I have all kinds of things that I want to do. It's just... Time is fleeting. Oh, you serious? Come on. Just blow the bomb up. There we go. Good. 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 Stray fireball hit it. No, yeah, well, screwed that up. All right. Ha ha ha. Code KP, what's going on? Thanks for joining me tonight. Appreciate it. Uh, the box with lasers is hard. Yeah, uh, I would definitely say that that's probably the more difficult one of the first four bosses. I mean, other than the final like gatekeeper boss, but um, I'm trying to think. Yeah, he he gets rough. You just gotta keep in mind. I think he moves. He rolls five times before the laser comes. Um, and then if you can keep that in mind, you'll know when you can kind of move a little bit better and, and all those things, so. And it's all about thinking ahead of, like, what side he's going to be, um, what side he's going to be turning to. And it's very difficult to do, I'll admit that. It's just, that's, that's what you got to do. It took me forever to get past him on hard mode. I lucked out on, um, 
normal. Uh, son of a... Uh, hey, Lego Skywalker. How you doing? Thanks for joining me. Um, Tony and Corey. First time watcher? Oh, okay, cool. Well, welcome to the stream. Thanks for hanging out. I appreciate it. I actually need to get some water. I'm playing on hard mode, so get ready for me to die a lot, but uh, appreciate you hanging out. Uh, please go check out my YouTube. Link is down below, and throw me a subscription over there. I'm going through a couple games right now, and uh, the ever-popular Long Dark role-playing series is returning on the channel, so you might be interested in seeing that. Anywho, oh my. Um... Jerk! You gonna play for yourself, Orflax? Good luck. <laughs> Good luck. Also, I love your name, Lego Skywalker. Uh, I'm a big fan of Legos and Star Wars, so that's awesome. This is the Age of Adeline. I don't remember... I don't think I've seen Age of Adeline. I am so out of touch with what's coming out. I just rely on my friends to be like, Hey, go see this. Like, okay, I'll go see that. Oh, it didn't. Oh, he nailed me. Ouch. Thanks for linking that, Foo. Appreciate it. Alright, Chip. See you in a moment. Okay. what the secret was for me to beat this guy last time. Like, I know I'm doing everything right. Like, I've got the arrow in him and I'm waiting for the bomb to blow and all that good stuff. Uh... Oh, okay. Yeah, Snips just told me that, uh, Lego Skywalker, it's, um... Uh... Uncle Cory? Is that right? Is right? Yeah! Yeah, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for uh, coming by. I appreciate that. Um, I I knew that I recognized the names, and that's why I kind of like stuttered and paused at first when I when I saw your names pop up. I was like, Washington, Corey. I know Uncle Corey, but I don't want to just assume, you know. Uh, but yeah, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. Hopefully, you guys are doing all right tonight. Oh, I did a bad thing. Good. Oh, okay. Wow, my brain's not working. Alright, blow this one up. Blow it up. There we go. Okay. We have checked out all of the great shows. Ah, oh, thank you, Lego. Alright, put the daggum... Ow. <laughs> the bomb killed me. Oh. I'm trying to keep my energy up tonight, but if I do seem a little down, or if I seem a little, like, out of it, I've been sick the past few days, um, but I definitely wanted to stream tonight, so... Hi. <laughs> That's on the way, I'll sign in and ship it to you next week. You'll have to message me your address. Yeah, that reminds me, um, if you guys have not checked it out yet, I know I talked about it in Hats Off, and I mentioned it briefly in Loot Crate, um, but Snips has started up her own shop, and she's on DeviantArt, with most of her stuff, I think, is more of her stuff is on DeviantArt, um, but she has opened up her own shop, and it's all fantastic and great, and you can get travel mugs and pillows and all kinds of things, 
Oh, I remember what the secret was, is you don't have to hit the bomb with her. You just have to have it explode. Just have it explode. Just have it explode. God dang it. Uh, near her. So it actually has like a radius around it that can, um, can actually hit stuff. That was good. There we go. Just leave that out there. Just suck it in. Yeah, cool. was looking good. It was looking good, and then I, uh, I stuffed up. I didn't have an escape route from all the flames coming up behind me. Going back in. This is an extremely repetitive game for those of you who have not been hanging around the past couple weeks. Whew. Um, only repetitive in the way that, like, it's my fault it's repetitive because I keep dying. And I've already beat the game once. I'm just trying to beat it on hard mode. Get over here. Tag gun it. Ah, oh, man. I thought I was going to be able to snake through those two flares. Ah, oh, it's so hard. Are you talking about my shirt? If you're talking about my shirt, then... Uh, kind of? Hey, yeah. To prove my love for Star Wars. <laughs> if that's what you were talking about. If not, um, you're probably talking about Snips and her shirts. <laughs> arrow and then come over here. It's good. It's real good. It's real good. Oh, pretzels. I would love to have a pretzel right now. That sound awesome. Oops, this is the wrong way. <laughs> that guy. I already got that guy. <sighs> Around, go upstairs. There we go. Oh, thank you for the follow. Oh, it didn't show up on screen. I'm sorry. I usually have my follow stuff show up on screen. Why didn't that work? Arg. I finally did it, and I messed it up. Oh, that's awful. <sighs> you jerk. Eat my arrow. That's so hard. She respawns so quickly. Alright, shoot some fire over here. Dang it. Cool, thanks Dylan. Oh my goodness. What did I get from Reddit? I 
put a post up on Reddit about uh, the bearded dragon just because he hadn't been eating for a couple days and people are still replying to that. But he's fine. He's doing good. Uh, Nick Cranny, if I don't know, someone turned you into the sarcastic Deadpool. What would your character say? Oh, if... If... I see what you're saying. If... I don't know. Someone turned you into the sarcastic Deadpool. What would my character say? I... I don't know. I... I'm gonna have to, like, defer to Snips on this one, because... I have such... I have such limited Deadpool knowledge. It, it's never... It was never anything that I read. Um... So I don't... I don't know. I hate being lame. But I'm so lame when it comes to Deadpool. Got it! I'm tired. <laughs> oh, the punching wore me out. Oh, I'm so sore. So each time you defeat a boss in this game, they're... Spirit, energy, I don't know, um, kind of melds into you. So yeah, Snips, if you uh, if you heard that and you could take care of that for food, that'd be great. I'm sure she's thinking of something genius, because she is that. Um, and yeah, at the end of the game, there's some really cool stuff that happens. And it's on my channel if you want to go check it out. I also cuss like a sailor all the way through this game, <laughs> trying not to, uh, but my god, it gets hard. This section went so fast, though. I'm on a roll tonight. It's going to be fine. It's going to be awesome. I'm not going to die at all. I've already died 1,200 times.